hot. Right, I want to show you what I've packed in this bag. Now, the contents of this bag, I thought would probably be a good idea considering uh, my partner is heavily pregnant, as most of you know already, and um, she's 35 weeks now. And um, it could be anything from one day to about a month from today. So considering that we both spend a lot of time out in the wilds, if the unthinkable should happen, I just feel I'll be letting her and myself down if I was in trouble in the middle of nowhere without a mobile phone signal, etc. Okay, so we're going to go through what the bag is and what's inside it, and um, let's hope that it inspires others to think along the same lines. Right, well, as you can see, this is the pack, and it rides very, very well indeed. It's a 35 litre, and it fits very well indeed. Excellent fit to the body. Um, going running in it, etc., making sure it's nice and tight, nothing moves around. And the sign, I believe, of a good backpack is you can put relatively heavy weight in there and it doesn't feel as heavy when you're actually wearing it. And also it's very comfortable and you move around and it actually stays to you very, very well without being really, really tight and uncomfortable. And I've had no complaints with this bag whatsoever. And I'm quite glad I think I've made the right choice in carrying the most important items for the time for myself and my family. Right, the back of the pack. Um, one of the things I, one of the many things I should say I do like about this pack um, is so far that these big padded vented straps really do keep the airflow on your back pretty good and also this carry system in the middle keeps it nice and straight so you're not going to get any uncomfortable places on your back when you're carrying. If you want to remove it you can, it's the SAS system, you can remove the metal rod inside Options are always good, and if it did remove that, obviously you can place some nice little survival items in there. But maybe that's for another video when I use this for other purposes. But for today, we want to talk about the importance about the baby stuff that's got inside it. Now, I did have a bit of a trouble trying to find a sort of bag like this which met all of my requirements, and I've done some thorough research into what I believe the right bag for the job. Now, this is a company that I've never come across before, so it's a bit of a new one, but the reviews are incredible. Um, this company, by all intents and purposes, are really um, hit the ground running, as you say. And the same company I've used before, Military First, it's the same company, you know when I've done that um, video about the medic bag, you can see here, all of these little bags inside were from Military First. And to be honest, I've had no problems whatsoever. The surface was great, the price was just right, and it was tracked all of the way. Now, there's nothing worse, in my opinion. You know when you order something and you're thinking, where is it, I don't know what's going on. This was tracked every single step of the way, so it's for good peace of mind as well. And they're UK-based guys, and they really do a good job in helping these customers. So without further ado, let's get inside and see what the bag's all about. So on the outside then, starting with all of the buckles, Durafex Warrior, very, very good. They're, um, they're tough, they're lightweight, and they've got that reassuring snap when they're closed, and they very rarely break. And pretty much you can get these replaced all over the world with ease. So if you do have a malfunction wherever you are, you're pretty much guaranteed to get the same buckles anywhere where you go, okay? Um, Molly all over the place, you've got a Velcro patch there, so you can stick on anything you want, doesn't matter. And the loops as well. Now, after this bag has served its intended purpose to carry the baby equipment, the applications for this are pretty unique. The bottom, we've got some really big straps, so you can put sleeping bags, raincoats, all sorts of things under there. If you want to carry some sort of pouches, you can molly attach at the bottom. Also in here is concealed a rain cover. Now for ease, I'll put it in here, it comes with the bag. Incidentally, the bag is called Dura and Teflon coated. So when you get heavy showers and rain, you've got pretty much loads of warning before you put the rain cover on, but it will repel the rain very, very good. And the cover pretty much covers the whole thing with ease. It's no problem at all, all right? You can get these in any color as well, camo, orange, whatever. So that's always good. So you've got side pockets there, pretty much the same on both sides. You can put water bottles and all sorts of lovely things um, that you need to. On the top, you've got more carry straps to attach more kit and equipment through here. And it does open up quite generous. 
Also, you can loop it around to the top as well. And another thing what I liked about this, which I haven't seen on other packs, are these little clips here. So when you've got your hydration bladder running through underneath, and you can mount these in any way you want for hydration, or if you've got comms and radio equipment with your cabling, mics, etc., pretzel switches, it's ideal, okay? Everything's there. And also, if you do need to remove the belt for whatever reason, you can do with these. It's all Velcro attached and it's very tough. You can just remove it straight away and you've got access to the whole pack then. On the rear panel, on the side edge, you can see the zip. Good quality zips as well. And the first thing I've done is pretty much a beginner's guide to how to, to deliver a baby, okay? So lots of information on the internet. It's all been printed out. It's all sealed in a bag, should it get wet or whatever. The contents are gonna be okay. It's pretty much a step-by-step -step guide and reassuring information of everything that you should need if you do have to deliver a baby in the wilderness. All right, so the first compartment in the back there, all of the zips have pulls on. So if you have gloves, etc., or it's cold, nice and easy. I thought something like this could be handy. Some quick, cheap um, energy fixes, okay? So if we're both gonna be tired, or especially mothers like really been in labor for a while and it's tiring, something quick and easy, which you don't have to chew or worry about spilling water everywhere. Something like this is very manageable. So I thought that would be a good idea. A space blanket in case the weather turns, just to keep a body heat in place. A visible marker. Now these are excellent pieces of kit if you can find them online. They're all molly attached and you can just clip them to your pack. Anything to um, attract attention. So if you are having problems and any help will do, any awareness that you can give is a very good idea in my opinion. So we've got the panel marker there. Some Pampers baby wipes. Of course, it's gonna get really messy down there. So anything we can do to clean away everything, to inspect, to make sure that there's no damage or any bleeding, okay? Some of this bag is pretty much a medic and first aid orientated because in a sense, it, it's, I suppose it really is, okay? So from peace of mind, um, nice and clean to inspect and make sure everything's okay. It's a brand new pack, all sealed, just to guarantee any failures, if it's been opened, it could dry out inside and it would pretty much be useless. Okay, so now onto the admin area, which pretty much opens nice and quick and simple. Um, as I said just now, um, a medical sort of slant on it. So I believe it is um, a medical situation. So one of the first things that I was taught a long time ago was cross-contamination, etc., and prevention of infection. Gloves. One of the first thing you should do is always put a pair of gloves on, okay? It always helps. They're all sealed and they're a large size, so it's not gonna be one of those nasty surprises if they're too small and too tight and they rip open, etc. Obviously, if there's bleeding involved, we've got some sanitary pads, some more heavy duty kind of um, bleed soak up pads. A small pair of trauma shears, if any item of clothing needs to be removed to gain access to the area that you're looking out for. Again, big on infection. So some saline pods. Okay, big believer in these, been using these for a long time now, and they're very, very helpful for flushing away any germs, debris, etc. So you can get and inspect the area that you need to look at. And of course, a knife. Everyone needs to have a knife out in the field. For this one, this particular one is a CKC Mini Hiker designed by Kylie Harris and finished by Scott Williams of Wessex Blades. A nice rush resistant, stainless, very sharp, nice little pocket knife, just right for the job in hand. A through night torch, just in case, if it's dark, etc., and you need to check things and see what you're doing. Mobile phones, if there is um, network, but your battery is failing, 
always make sure that you've got some sort of charging device, okay? And most importantly, take a lead with you. It is absolutely worth useless if you forget the lead. Can you imagine? So the first thing is if um, the big day happens, phone the emergency services, providing you've got a signal. If you do, put it on speakerphone so you've got hands free with your gloves on, you can carry on and deal with what's needed. If there's any problems, also you make sure you've got a head torch. Obviously that, that provides um, hands free so you can see in the dark, etc. I've gone a bit over kill. I've got myself a glow stick, military grade one. So if anything fails, I've still got a guaranteed light source sealed up inside there. And if there's real bad problems, I have signal flares. And I know some of you are thinking where well, it's way over the top, but if you do need to attract attention and there's other problems, you know, maybe she falls over, she twists her ankle, she can't move. Um, I've hurt myself. I can attract attention with these signal flares. Now all they are is they're small pyrotechnics. I've tested one as you can see. Always make sure that your kit and equipment works. And these are very good. Red for distress and you just fire them as and when you need to. And an emergency signal beacon. And these are current special forces issues in the United States and work very, very well for miles around. So if you are up in the hills, you can also attract aircraft for the blue attachment in there, infrared and standard white. Okay. All I do in this is I store the batteries, the reverse polarity in there, so it will not corrode. You unscrew the device, put the batteries in the right way, insert it, and hey presto, perfect. Periodically check your batteries on these devices. This was checked the other day, and all's good. Okay, and now on to the main compartment. All of this is designed to quick release and open efficiently. In the top of the bag, we've got a rather nice hand-witted wool blanket for the baby when it comes to keep it nice and warm, brand new and clean. We have a towel. Just happens to be Los Angeles Raiders, what can I say? So, yep, it's important to have a towel clean and ready. A shelter system. The shelter system is held inside this um, army jungle sleeping bag compression sack. Brought loads of these a while back and they're excellent for getting all of your kit and equipment into a small confined space, keeps it relatively watertight and you can turn it inside out as an emergency water carrier. Inside this is a DPM basher with four bungees and some paracord. Nice, quick and simple shelter. Remember, hone your skills, test it out, get good at it because if you need to use it one day, you're not going to be scratching your head wondering and taking your time. A blizzard survival bag, just in case. It's waterproof, keeps the heating very, very well. You put some heating there and everything is nice, okay? You wanna make sure that everyone's comfortable and out of the elements, should the weather conditions change for the worse. Remember, we're not just in the woodlands, we could be up the side of a mountain, on the hills, etc. and you never know. One of these, it's a three quarter length British Army issue sleep mat. Um, this actually come from Denby Army Surplus, which I reviewed a little while ago. Excellent piece of kit, and I decided to keep this in the emergency baby bag because I believe they are that good, they are that strong, and I do believe it will not let me down. So something comfortable for mum to lay on, etc., with the towel and everything else and the shelter up, trying to make the environment as calm and safe, as clean as possible. So this, rather than laying on the forest floor with branches, twigs, flint, etc., it's a lot more comfortable. And of course, one of these full up with water. Now I've been emptying this and filling this up every week with clean water, okay? Don't go putting it in there and leaving it for weeks or months. You wanna make sure it's clean as possible, okay? This happens to be bottled water, so there's no nasties in there, okay? Don't take any chances because this is one of the most important moments in life. And if you do your best, hopefully you shouldn't get no failures. And also there's a little compass on there from Polymuff products with a little light on the back there, which glows in the dark. And also always have a backup a pair of gloves. 
because if something did happen to the first pair, they get ripped or torn or they get lost or dirty, you can always rely on another pair of gloves, okay? These ones happen to go almost up to your elbow, okay, to keep everything nice and clean. Okay, so now the bag is empty. Just a little opportunity to show inside. As you can see, a nice big clamshell space area for all of your kit and equipment. We've got a nice big elasticated pocket there just to stop things getting more muddled up. And this I quite like, it's a floating panel. So you can put like um, pouches, organize anything you like on top of there. And there's also space underneath to keep stuff underneath too. Also, you've got these straps, supports, so you can secure things, etc. Very, very nice design, I do like that. So there you have it, everything inside the bag. This now lives in a vehicle until the day comes, just in case. Um, it's just peace of mind for myself, you know. I said, God forbid anything bad happens and we're out enjoying the countryside, etc. No signal phones, you know, you've got a fighting chance. That's what it's all about. To me, it's to prep a mindset and to have a great bag to keep it all safe in, it's paramount. So I hope this inspired others to think on the same lines. All links underneath the video to help anyone out. Thanks for watching. Stay funky.